Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. moment in my uh, welding career so far. This is probably as close as I've been to having one. Um, so last video I told you about that trick where you cut the metal like halfway through and then it's easy to hammer in. So I did that just because up here and down here we're not lining up the way I wanted to. Um, these welds got a little fat. It was a pretty deep little gap so I just wanted to fill that really nice. Um, that looks pretty decent up there. So parts of this like up there got a little squirrely because some of the uh, the seam sealer didn't clean out all the way, but the rest of that is pretty dang good. And then right there, I got kind of nice and fat again, but it looks pretty dang good. And then down there, I did uh, just a little bit because that metal is super thin. So just kind of a little connecting piece, but that looks sweet, that looks sweet, that looks sweet, and that looks pretty dang good. So that's boxed in. Um, so this is gonna be super duper strong because there's a plate here, roll cage is gonna attach to that. So now the outside and the top of that is plated off and then it's got this plate here, which is connected over there. So now that should be, in my opinion, ridiculously rigid and secure. And it just looks sweet, that diagonal cut. It just looks like I know how to do stuff now because there's a diagonal and a decent weld on it. So yay, mic drop. Ish. I have three things to hit you with real quick. Um, first one, last uh, last bug video. I mentioned Cletus McFarland's down bars on Leroy um, being bent and that I read in what I thought to be an HRA rule said that they should be straight. Um, a lot of you guys, or a couple of you guys commented and you're like, oh, you're calling out Cletus. That wasn't my intention. My, my point was Cletus's cage is obviously certified to run seven something. So it's up to spec, it's a good cage. What I meant by addressing that, and I kind of cut the clip short for some reason, was if the rules say they should be straight, but Cletus's are bent and they're they're good, they're safe, they're certified, they pass. My point was like, I wonder what the actual rule is, because clearly his car passes tech and it's a safe, well-built cage. The guys that built Leroy's cage at Profab they know what they're doing. Like, I'm not questioning any of that. I, I just, I cut the clip too short and that wasn't my intention. Um, my point was just that if those bars are bent, then I wonder what the actual rule is because I wanted to do bent bars. That was my point. Um, second thing, I've been a little serious with this project and that's really not what we should be about. And uh, I had some breakthrough ideas, so I think. And uh, instead of thinking about it, I'm just gonna start cutting stuff up again. And uh, if it works, cool. And if not, then we're back to where we were and I'm gonna cut some more things. So, less serious, more yay. Um, the last thing, we had someone, um, and it, it doesn't happen very often, and every once in a while I like to go on comment rants. So in the last video I mentioned, you guys are gonna hate me because I basically cut away hours of work that you had already watched to basically tell you that in the future we're gonna do the work again and you're gonna watch it. And someone was upset about that, and uh, even though I warned you, and uh, he was like, I'm tired of watching you do the same stuff over and over again. And then said, unsubscribe, which he should have said unsubscribe, duh, not unsubscribe. So uh, a couple things I wanted to point out. I value you guys and your comments um, a lot, but uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what sort of ego that guy had because I've never seen his name before. He's never commented before. So for someone I didn't know existed to come out of the woodworks and say, I don't like this. I'm unsubscribe. That doesn't mean anything to me. Like, get over yourself. If you don't like what we're doing, like, I'm sorry, I want you to stick around. But if you don't like it and you're going to be a swamp donkey, then go away. Bye bye. I don't want you here. So that's my rant. 
Um, like I said before, 99% of you guys in your comments are very encouraging and helpful and constructive. If you don't like what I'm doing, I'm, I'm okay with that. Just don't be a jerk about it. I mean, like I'm open to new ideas and I have said every other video, I don't know what I'm doing. So if I'm doing something dumb, let me know in a nice way so I can learn from it instead of being a fruitcake and acting like you're some self-entitled. There's so many words I can't say on YouTube that I want to. He was not a nice person and he thought he was special and he's not. And now he's gone. So one more negative person out of the picture. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do it. I know that there's a lot that's about to happen and uh, that's it. Here we go. The bug is uh, on the thing. I did some stuff that you just watched back there on that shock tower. I finished boxing it in and uh, oh yeah, I want to show you this real quick. Last video I mentioned body dropping. Um, and what, what, what I was going to do is cut the beam out of the inside of this that I welded in and put a piece of ang angle iron on so that the angle iron, which would be about up here, would sit here instead of this sitting where it is. Well, if you look right here, that's not going to work <laughs> because the angle iron would start way in there and it wouldn't sit. So if you notice, I got some lines drawn there and right there. And same thing on the other side. So that's the only hint you're getting. Stuff's gonna get really weird and I swore I wasn't gonna cut what I'm about to cut. So here we go, cross your fingers, pray for mercy. Hi, <laughs> one last thing. Uh, I've been really trying to think of how to make this body removable because I think it'd be pretty sweet to, and someone commented this, to have basically like an MR2 exo car and then we could put the bug, beyond, bug body, man, I, might, I need to sleep or something. So exo car MR2, and then just be able to put the bug body on top of it. I think that'd be way, way cool. Um, advantages of it, cool factor, and basically cool factor, and easier like engine access. Um, here's why I don't think I'm gonna do it. As far as engine working goes, it's wide open, and like I discussed in the last video, the firewall is gonna come off of those two shock towers and then meet up with the main hoop, and then the sheet metal covering it on the sides and these two panels there and there are gonna be removable. So basically, when we wanna work on the engine, it will look like that. So engine working is uh, not a problem, and as far as cool factor goes, we have a freaking bug on an MR2 that's 10 inches wider than a factory bug. So that's where our cool factor's at. And I'm not giving grief to the comment because I think it's an awesome idea. I just don't think that the time it would take to make that uh, like an easy removable, it's gonna take a lot of time. And I have a lot of ideas of how to weld all that and plate it all off really nicely. Um, and I, I kinda wanna just roll with that, but time will tell. So I'm just gonna get to work and we'll see what happens. Regardless, you're gonna see some stuff happen. I just don't know where I'm gonna stop or where this video is gonna go up, but you're gonna see some stuff. off that I swore I wasn't gonna do because that was a big structure point of the floor pan. Um, I kind of just got in the mood of, well, let's just cut it and we're forced to make it better. And that's usually when some of my better um, follow through ideas come out because I have no choice. Um, so it is floating, still under tension, but it's over the body. Um, this is about as low as I wanna put it. And even to get it this low, I had to pull these out just a little bit, so I don't know how, uh, I guess I could find out, but I don't know how the hood is gonna line up, so we might have to tweak some stuff up there later. Um, but as you can see now, well, you can't really tell from there, hang on. So this was level with this. So we've moved it that whole 
that whole bit, which is pretty good. So I wanted to get it here so I can kind of mark up uh, roughly where I'm gonna put the plates for the new mounting. Um, one thing I don't like is the rear here is actually really close to the tire. And this is even the little spare. I need to put a real one on here. Um, but even on this side, this is pretty close. And this is at stock height. So one of several things needs to happen. One, I could rake the body. So back here is maybe like an inch higher than the front and give it kind of that lean look to it, which I'm not opposed to. Um, another one, the hubs are well past and you can see there the hubs are well past uh, the body so if we got a pretty pretty good offset or a pretty good negative offset wheel which i'm also not opposed to i like that a lot we should be able to clear back here no problem like get the tire completely outside of the body which would be cool um but i feel like so i'm not in the financial position to drop you know two grand on some wheels and depending on what we go with and how negative the offset is, we might have to spend some money, so I'll explore that later. Um, but the uh, the dash height is a lot better. It still looks pretty, I guess on camera, it actually still looks pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if I can get in the car, but let me try. Just kidding, I realized I just cut out a big part of the floor support, so I don't wanna put any weight on there. Um, so I think the next step it's just going to be, I think I am going to, because I, I want to move on this. I don't want to just sit about, sit around and think about it. So I think the next step is going to be basically to figure out um, where I want this back to sit and put this probably an inch higher than the front. And then what I just realized is just fle flexing this out isn't going to work because we're going to tie in that bar from here and around, which is gonna push this out even more. So what I'll probably end up doing is cutting this somewhere in here and then just take this off. And then once we're ready to put it back on, we'll probably just cut about here where that bar is gonna be and then just attach this to the front of that bar. So I, I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, we'll just kind of embrace kind of like a half exo car look and just make this bar nice and kind of tie in with the body and just make it part of the body basically. So cut this, cut that, put the bar around, and then just weld this up front and then the hood will still fit like it did before. So I'm gonna measure kind of where I want it to sit down there officially, um, mock some stuff, tack some things on or something, and then we'll just keep moving forward with this. But that's definitely in the front, that's about as low as we can go. Um, but I mean, that's, that's, a huge, that's a huge difference. I mean, it's, it's really kind of hard to tell, but I mean, this right there was sitting right there on that tan piece with the sharpen mark. So that's, I'll measure here in a sec, but I mean, that's that's gotta be a good three inches. So I'm happy with that. Hey guys, um, I really want you guys to see this and I was going to, uh, I was gonna finish everything I told you I was gonna do, but I have a, a ridiculous migraine and I've tried to work through it, but it's not going away. I should feel better tomorrow and I'll come back down here and uh, finish what I'm doing, but I want you guys to see what I have and I'm, we're pretty good at putting videos up on Sundays. So uh, I do apologize and I'm not, uh, don't, don't feel bad for me, it'll go away. I just, I can't, I can't work right now. So. Um, let me know what you think about what I did. I do have uh, a pretty good game plan of how I'm gonna make the mounts and set everything up. So that'll be, I mean, I'm like, I'm in the middle of doing it right now. I just, I can't, like this side of my head is just pounding. So that's all you get um, for now. But like I said, I'll be here tomorrow working on it hopefully. So uh, I mean, probably Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest, I'll have another video of putting the body on and getting some more stuff situated. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, 
yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, we'll see you in a couple days. And yeah, so long. Bye-bye.